no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net City planners in coastal towns in North Carolina were doing a very rational thing they were looking at climate change science and compensating for expected sea level rise with the way they built things. But North Carolina lawmakers hated this because they choose not to believe in things like climate change or science or dental hygiene. So they got a brilliant idea akin to the day the inventor of the fanny pack first strapped that purse on his crotch and exclaimed, I've done it! i found a way to carry around all my shit and never get laid. They're not mutually exclusive after all. The North Carolina legislature voted to make it illegal to take climate change into account during city planning. Illegal to even think about it. You fucking egotistical jack-off brain jerk-offs! Making a certain area of science illegal doesn't actually change the effect of that science. You can legislate that engineers have to ignore gravity. That doesn't mean we can finally build those floating cities we've been pining for. You can make a law demanding people ignore that they live on a fault line. But when the earthquake hits, that doesn't make them any less crushed to death. Or maybe I'm wrong about this and it totally works. In which case, let's hurry up and pass a law saying radiation only affects talk show hosts and birthday cakes because the people of Japan need our help. Elected officials tried a similar banning of reality in Michigan last week. Representative Lisa Brown said the word vagina on the House floor and was then banned from speaking for several days. If they can't handle the word vagina, then how the hell are they going to debate this week's bill clarifying how far exactly the polls are located up the Michigan lawmakers' collective anal passage? You see, apparently, in Michigan, if you don't see or hear something, it doesn't exist, now or ever. This goes for vaginas, dinosaurs, and Oprah's TV network. Have we become a nation of fucking children? If you're wrong about something, you have to fucking accept it and sulk off and cry in your bowl of grits at the Waffle House. You can't make a law saying you weren't wrong. If you've pissed off 90% of human beings who own vaginas, you have to sit there and take it while the vagina people call you vagina-hating, turd-blowing snot satchels. Believe it or not, right and wrong still exist in this world. Sometimes you're wrong. Sometimes, no matter how much you really, really want to believe that the world's not heating up, it just is. And the planet Earth doesn't give a fuck whether you pass a law against it. The ocean water will break your law. The vaginas will beat your ban. There's an old maxim, and if it's not an old maxim, it should be. It goes, there are two things you should never pick a fight with. An angry sea and a whole lot of vagina. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. The articles relating to this episode will be posted on the front page of my website if you want to read more about them. Also, check out the MOC podcast where I talk more about the week's news. I also interview amazing guests like Janine Garofalo, Chris Hedges, and presidential candidate Rocky Anderson have been some recent ones. It's free at LeeCamp.net and on iTunes. Plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretend